Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog. A vlog which I want to be very, very excited about bringing to you. However, I'm feeling a little bit guilty and a little bit like I am the world's worst vlogger at the moment because I wanted this vlog to be, and I'm hiding in my lorry because it's currently raining or drizzling. Oh look, there's the boys. Max is going to go and make sure that Enzo is not allowed to get too friendly. <laughs> With Dinks. He's like, he's my bestie, you're not allowed him. Oh, oh, but if it means I can groom you. <laughs> Be nice. Ah, ca oh, camera's getting wet. And I hit my head. But yeah, I want to be able to bring you a new pony update a bit of a like my first week with Enzo and I had also <laughs> planned to give you my first ride with Enzo and I just have been useless guys at capturing the content I'm gonna come out in the rain because it feels wrong just sitting in the lorry it's <laughs> nuzzling back to its ears honestly the bromance these two have got going on already they are funny I will take you out and see them it's eased off a little bit but yeah, I haven't been a good vlogger. I've just, I feel like maybe I'm like putting excuses in the way, but I'm just enjoying the, like, it almost feels like the honeymoon period. I'm enjoying, enjoying them and just watching them and embracing and sound soppy, but honestly, it's been such a lovely week and they are all getting on so, so well. And he is a little sweetheart. He's exactly like he was when we first met him, when we met him the second time, and when we picked him up. He's been an absolute angel, good as gold, haven't you? And so have you, you've been an absolute angel, good as gold. And you've been pretty good too, Dinks, apart from a few escape artist moments. But yeah, I feel like I just keep forgetting to get the camera out. I, mind your head banks on the fence. Hey, hey, yes, you're turning into a vlogging pony already. I've got a few bits that I've captured on my phone and like our first ride and everything that we did, Emily captured on her phone because she came with us. But I've just been useless at actually picking up my vlogging camera and I feel guilty for it. I do feel guilty for it because it's not only for you guys. I do want to have the beginning of this journey documented for my own like reasons to look back on and everything too. I do like to stay out of the way of Banksy's front legs when they do that, just in case a little mare style squealy swipe comes up which it has a few times hence when I'm not here and I've literally just got home from work the fence stays up because Banksy is in charge Banksy will always be in charge and he is very pr protective protective that was nearly possessive protective and possessive of Dinks which we knew but he has been 10 million times better then I thought, I just said that and then stood in front of your legs again. <laughs> 10 million times better than I thought he would be. You need clipping though, don't you, my boy? You're big hairy boy. And you probably should have a clip too, hey? So yeah, as much as it's not the vlog I visualized and had planned in my head, it's not perfectly curated, but that is horsey life, isn't it, guys? And as I say, I have just been very much enjoying him enjoying this honeymoon stage and embracing the fact that they're all getting on so well and just yeah keep forgetting <laughs> to actually cam cap camera it on camera capture it on camera so i did think i would just give you a bit of an overview of what we have done in our first week together it is now tuesday so it'll be a week tomorrow that i collected enzo and we did crack on straight away. We did go and ride him. We did go and ride him. Me and Em <laughs> took him out. First thing Thursday morning, she came over here pretty early. I think I ended that first initial vlog with giving them their breakfast and getting him ready to be tacked up. So I ended that vlog there with all intentions that I was going to then make a full vlog of our first ride together. And yeah, just got in the moment, hadn't ended up charging my GoPro or Insta360. And when I was actually on his back, I was just enjoying riding him. And I didn't want to have to get out my camera and talk to the camera. I just wanted to be in the moment with him. So I do apologize for that. 
but we are very lucky as I said that M captured some footage and I will of course insert some of that in here now now what I will say with this being our very first ride together and the fact that I then also did take him out solo the very next day so the Thursday M rode Banks I rode Enzo we went out as a pair and then the Friday I was like right let's just go he was so good he was so like calm relax a little bit of a fidget bum to get on but that's something i'm more than happy to work on because this one used to be an absolute nightmare to get on um but yeah out hacking he led the way he wasn't remotely spooky at all and was just a keen bean lovable i'm gonna say machine but he's not a machine is he he's a five-year-old pony horse 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 i know lots of you don't like me saying pony he is a horse, a gorgeous horse at that. But yeah, just so shocked at how non-spooky he is in comparison to him. <laughs> Boo! Talking of spooky. <laughs> Did I spook you? I am delighted to be partnered up with Wild again this month to help raise awareness of their spooktacular limited edition vanilla bean and buttercream scent plus their ghouly ghost limited edition case now if you haven't heard of wild before then their mission is to shake up or should i say spook up the use of single use plastics in the bathroom products department deodorants body washes lip balms they are all often made or contained in single-use plastics but wild are changing that they have made these reusable and refillable cases to house our deodorants lip balms and body washes meaning we only ever have to buy the refills when we need to top them up after they have run out. All of the ingredients in these items are natural and all of the packaging is recyclable, even the body wash. These little deodorant refill pods are available in eight classic scents, including coconut and vanilla, fresh cotton and sea salt, aloe vera and mint. And then they often also have limited edition scents. My favorite so far being the lemon sherbet. But I'm yet to try out this new one, which is the vanilla bean and buttercream, which does smell divine. Now, if you have been thinking about making the switch to wild and doing your bit to help our environment, then now is the time to try. I can give you 20% off for new or existing customers using the code Tina Wild. I will also pop the QR code, which I will pop in the corner here now, and then the discount will be automatically applied. I can highly recommend it. Do your bit for our environment, but also keep yourself smelling sweet and fresh too. I'm very excited about smelling like vanilla bean and buttercream this Halloween. Ooh, I'm a poet and I know it. So I did take Enzo straight out into the lane for our first ride at home because I want to get him used to being mounted where I normally mount, which is here, but I do get that the grass is quite the temptation for food. Um, so I did actually change the next day and mount him inside in the yard where I used to mount Banksy actually, it wasn't until a few years in that I was brave enough to get on Banks out here, so maybe it's my fault for thinking it was a good idea, but actually all he does is fidget and move away a bit, he's not naughty, he's not like I don't dare want you on my back, he just simply is a bit confused why he's not stood next to a wooden mounting block, which is what he is used to being mounted from, so yeah, I mean it did take three or four attempts I think but equally we weren't in any rush Banksy was being a good boy with Auntie Emily on his back and actually what I was finding is it was when I picked up the contact that he moved away so I don't know if it's the right or wrong thing but in a minute you'll see that I actually left the rain loose still touched the rain obviously I needed it for if he did shoot off under when under saddle 
Um, but just leaving him that bit more relaxed, I did let him have a pick of grass again. Don't come at me, but I was a bit unsure as to what the right or wrong thing was to do. To be fair, I just wanted to ensure we remain patient and didn't rush. And neither of us got anxious or upset, so I thought I was yeah, I thought we were gonna be okay there, but maybe I'm just not quick enough. Maybe I was being a bit slow. But it's all a learning curve. That's it. Nice relaxed, hand over the wither to the other side of patting. Ah, good boy. Alright, thanks. No, thanks, you stand. 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 Yeah. Well, we would be going if you. We can get on with it. Ready? Should we try again? Good boy, good boy, good boy. Good boy, darling. Ready? You've eaten all the treats. Good boy. Now pat him again. Don't try and. I would just stay on that. That's it. Good boy. Do I brave it with no contact? Yeah. Just wanted to sit in. What do you want me to do? Walk on in front? Mouthful of grass. <laughs> Thanks, as chilled as a cucumber. Yeah, but no, but I, it worked. So he was pretty brave and bold from the get go. I think once I was on board, he just wanted to crack on. And he led the way all the oh, way down yeah. our lane. And it was only when we got down here and Em had literally just stopped filming and he sort of like just climbed the hedge a bit. Um, you can't really tell, it doesn't look it on camera, but there's like a gully in the middle where all the water is washed through. And he was just being a bit tentative, like he wasn't sure That's where to put his feet. So um, and he sort of climbed up to the side a little bit, but literally exactly. it just required me with my leg and seat, just keeping him <laughs> that bit straighter. And yeah, he was really making me smile. Just so enthusiastic, not phased by anything. I mean, look, even these boulders that Banksy has always been terrified of, he sort of just had a little look and then, oh, they're fine, I'll carry on. They're, they're, not, they're not scary. That was a branch that you touched with your own foot. <laughs> so all in all a very successful first hat and we even had a few little strides of canter <laughs> Oh, he was such a good boy. Good boy. So calm. Hey, take two. It went well. <laughs> now we need to stay straight. I forget how much straightness we, we require from legs. Good boy. Oh, and you, my boy, have been an angel. As a have dobbin. a dobbin. As have you, Emily. As have you. <laughs> now an angel. <laughs> Enzo, you are making Banksy look <laughs> tiny. You should too. My flat hat and food. So they got um, more friendly and acquainted over the partition again whilst I did the fencing and then I turned them out and literally they spent the entire time almost touching noses under the fence and then sharing a hay net together too. 
they definitely formed quite the bromance fairly quickly and felt very relaxed in each other's company because when I woke up at half past four in the morning, <laughs> this is what I saw. Both of them laid down, very relaxed, very content. And in turn, that definitely made me very relaxed and content too. So the next morning on the Friday, I did have a few bits I needed to get sorted in the office. So I kept an eye on them from the Reolink camera, which I can pan around from my stable out to that field. And as you can see, <laughs> they were still just talking to each other over the fence, basically barely leaving each other's sides and sniffing and squealing and yeah, being big flirts with each other. <laughs> which actually was very cute to witness, hence I was watching them at 10 o'clock and half past 10. And then when I got home, I actually let Enzo go into Banksy's side for a bit so that he could have a little bit of an explore further down into the field, should he wish, which he clearly didn't because he just decided that he wanted to roll in the patch that Banksy had rolled in earlier that morning. And then in turn, <laughs> Banksy over in Enzo's side decided he also wanted to roll in the patch that Enzo had rolled in earlier that morning. Honestly, they were just both so comical and I was just watching them for hours and hours and hours. Poppy. Guys, I'm so happy. I could actually cry. We are just about to complete our first solo hack. It literally is only the second day of having him. And we did a little hack with Em and Banks yesterday. And then I was like, no, we need to not rely on other people. I need to be big and brave. So yeah, I have braved it. And we've just done a little 20, 25 minute loop. He's been very jolly and very forward and very bouncy, but also very well behaved. Good boy, darling, good boy. Especially as, good boy, aren't you? We did have two deer jump out on us on a bit there where I would normally canter banks, didn't canter him. Although on the way back on a tiny bit of grass verge, we did have about five strides of canter. Oh, and he was just so good. Like I say, very jolly and I am getting a bit of a stitch. Such a fine line between knowing how much half halt to give and how much leg to put on when he's just like joggy on the spot. So I'm trying my best actually just to relax. And yeah, he's been honestly an absolute angel. Very, very proud of you, Enzo. Oh, he's gonna flick his head up now. No, keep walking. I'm gonna concentrate, put both hands back on the reins so that I can not have this excitedness. We need to relax, don't we? Yeah, but just needed to share that elation because I'm proud of him and I'm also proud of myself because that's a big thing for only 48 hours of having you at home, isn't it? Hey, good boy. Good boy, darling. No walk. Whoa. Good boy, Enzo. So the next day I went to vlog and got slightly sidetracked just watching them again. <laughs> Go to groom each other and then drinking out the water trough together too. <laughs> Then that afternoon M came round and we took them for another hack together in the glorious weather and we oh, went down to what we call Spritey's favourite stream and look at him, he just went so boldly into, into it. it. Like absolutely nothing. Such a clever baby bony. Oh, what a good boy. Oh, halfway. They're also 
pilot stopping it. Oh. <laughs> this is what we do. <laughs> you need to get used to that, mate. Yeah. Wait till you come with Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> does Addy do it all the time now too? No. Oh, he's made the water dirty, hasn't he? Aww. That's what Addy does. Oh, hello. He's a little bit already. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 Daddy, he does it once. Can we keep moving? Thanks very much, Enzo. Good boy, darling. Good boy. What a good boy! Oh, how funny. He has got a bit of a pouring leg, hasn't he? So, yeah, I can imagine he'll pick that up quite quickly. Oh, my goodness. Just got me soaked. He got himself soaked. Oh, you're not in focus at all. There we go. We then had another little stream to navigate, which he didn't want to quite get his feet in <laughs> so did a little no. leap over that one and then we were coming up to a bit of brains. like uneven concrete that has broken down a bit into steps and it's on one of our circular routes I did actually share this on a another hack that I went on with him solo a couple of days later but yeah he went up it so boldly first time bless his heart Lots of horses, even the older, more experienced ones, do question this. And he was just like, yes, yeah, absolutely fine. Oh, like a pro! We then have a bit more pony stalking overnight. I seem to keep waking up at half past four in the morning to check them. But this time, amazed to see that even Banksy was absolutely flat out zonked. Which, I will admit, he doesn't often do. And I think he is obviously just feeling relaxed in his company because, yeah, it's lovely to witness. I, I have caught Banksy lying down a few times overnight in the stables, but never fully flat out like that. It's, yeah, just so, so heartwarming to see. Searching for my eyes. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Right, question for you guys. Who's got babies and can relate? Never leave things on partitions. <laughs> it wasn't me. Hey, Enzo. I mean, I'm surprised that's still up there because the other day it was taken down, but I gave you benefit of the doubt for being inquisitive the first night. And we've put it back there and it's stayed there since. However... Dry rugs cannot be left on partitions, hey? No? <laughs> Bums. Hey boys, you okay? So the ponios are in separate paddocks again. Just whilst I'm not here, I think whilst I'm here, I'm happy with them being all in together. Because you are very friendly to each other, aren't you? But when I'm not here, I would rather Enzo in there, Banksy in there, and then Dinks is happy too, because he's out with Banks. But you, my sweetheart, need to come in and get ready don't you let's get a lead rope and try and get you past Banksy because he's gonna want to come in aren't you babes oh no it started raining now too we'll get you clipped and get you off doing a bit more over the next few days my darling in fact we've got some I was gonna say surprise but it's not a surprise we've got some guests not surprise visitors at all because we know they're coming but some exciting visitors stroke guests Right, lead rope is what I am looking for. Give you a little cleanie. Pick out those 
just took these, change your boots and get on the road. Patience is a virtue with regards to, or when it comes to young horses, isn't it guys? And also, I need to get Robbie to um, take down this hanging basket bracket because it's been many a year since a hanging basket was on it and we don't want our Enzo hooked on it, do we? Hey? Right, let's whip that rug off. Give you a brush, no. Because <laughs> I want to be out there with my friends. Good boy. Good boy. I'll give you a stretch. Good boy. Stumps, but aside from that, let's go. Oh, it's a bit slippery. So we've arrived and I'm all tacked up and all ready to get on. However, somebody got quite sweaty in the lorry, didn't you, my sweet? So we are just gonna hand walk him around the arena. Good boy, sweetheart. Just to, well, relax him and relax me. <laughs> and maybe just cool him down a tiny bit. There's a banner. To be fair, as I said again earlier, you haven't been that spooky at all, have you? And I'm used to Mr. Super Spooky. You having a little look at the banners? But yeah, we'll just let you familiarise yourself with the arena a little bit before getting on. Good chat. It's not meant to be raining. Come on, then. good boy. Good boy. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we're gonna learn to get on here. Good boy. And stand. Good boy. Done. And stand. Whoa. Back one. No, you don't need to get stressed on him. Back one. Back one. Good boy. Stand. 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 No, you stand. Stand. Good boy. Well done. Good boy. Stand. Good boy. Stand. No, stand. No, you don't need the dog bowls. Nosy. Stand. Nope. Yeah, step one. Stand. Stand. Nope. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Good boy. I walk on. Walk on. I walk. Stand, stand, good boy, good boy, stand. Stand, good boy, 
stand. Stand. Good boy. Good boy, darling. Well done. Good boy. Good boy, Enzo. Good boy. Say bye, Banks. We'll see you in a bit. Good boy. Good chap. Good chappy. Well done. Good boy. You are so brave. So am I. <laughs> Good chap. Well done. Good boy. You don't like standing still. You're so good when I get in your back, though. Good boy. <laughs> you are so good. What are you looking at? You're fine. Good chappy. This is a nice walk. Oh, I say a new trip. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. You're so brave, Enzo. Good boy. Oh, I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see of this, guys. Oh, I hit my head then. You're higher than Banksy, Enzo. Um, but yeah, down here, when we came down here with Banksy, he was a little bit tentative about where to put your feet, weren't you? Because it goes a bit of a gully in the middle. And I think you saw it as a bit of a ditch. So I've got to just try and keep you straight. Yep, good boy. Well done. Well done. And here, I've got to stay straight in the middle. No climbing the sides. Good boy. Well done, and No, straight. Good boy. Well done. <laughs> He literally jumped up there when we came up down here with Banksy yesterday. Oh, steady. You are so clever. You're such a quick learner. But yeah, with this rain, I don't think you're going to be able to see much of this ride, guys, because I expect the lens is covered in drips. Slowly. Is a car coming? Slowly. 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 Oh, you are so clever. Thank you take my hands off the reins or I think we'll speed up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think baby, it is a thing for babies to rush a bit downhill, isn't it? Good boy. There's a car behind us too, my sweetheart. Good chap. Well done. Ooh. Thank you. Oh, you are such a good boy, Enzo. Well done, sweetie. Well done, boy -o. Come in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good boy, good boy. Whoa. Whoa. Stand. Good boy, stand. Good boy. You are so brave. Good, you little sweetheart. No, 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 no. Not now. Turn the camera on. No snatchy. No snatchy. I know you probably got wet ears, haven't you? What's that flag doing? But to think you can walk through a busy industrial estate without spooking is just—I <laughs> have no words. You are just perfect, aren't you? You can have your head, but you're not snatching. You're all or nothing with that, aren't you? You're a bit like, I'm either on a contact or my chin is on the ground and I've got the whole rain. <laughs> I think it's going to take a while for us to learn free walk on a long rain, Enzo, isn't it? Let's stay straight. Good boy. Well done. <laughs> I was about to say, did I turn it on in time? 
go through the river, but I don't think you even clocked the river, did you? <laughs> you clever clogs. Oh my goodness, boy, we are soaking, aren't we? Absolutely drenched. Ugh. Mm, can you navigate this okay? Go steady, I've got my neck strap, you go steady. Steady. Don't jump it, don't jump it. Up, up. Good boy, well done. Good boy. That is a big ask. Well done, my darling. Good boy. It's half expecting you to jump that then. Good chap. Well done. Such a wise head on young shoulders. Hey? Good boy, darling. Oh my goodness, guys. I can't get over how good he is being. It is the most horrendous weather. We've just had a tree branch fall down right next to us. And he just like stepped sideways slightly. <laughs> then we just had a train go past, literally just that hedge there. And he didn't even hear or see it, maybe because the rain's so heavy. But honestly, I just can't believe what a sweetheart he's being. Oh, and he is jogging a bit with um, only one hand on the rain. So I'm gonna go back to focusing on keeping him walking, especially down this hill. Oh, we got a tractor to contend with. And sheepies or piggies in there today, or goats. Good boy, well done. Well done. Good boy. I think we'll go up there. Good boy, up. good boy. Oh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, I think it'll be fine being very he's a lot better than Banksy already <laughs> thank you good boy good boy good chap good boy good boy <laughs> you do surprise me I shouldn't be so surprised but maybe it's just 10 years of riding the most spooky horse in the world I thought all horses were super spooky <laughs> Banks has been having me on for all these years. <laughs> Good chap, Enzo. You're not even scared of pigs. <laughs> Piggy's in there, Piggy's in there. And he hasn't got a clue. Oblivious. Oblivious, aren't you? Good chap. Should we try a stretch again? Can we try a stretch without jogging? Am I pushing my luck? No, no joggy, no joggy. Oh, ah, goodness, this weather. Come on, see if you can go lower. Lower without jogging, lower. Trouble is to go low, you need a bit more leg, don't you? Long and low, and then he just jogs. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, lower and relax. Good boy. Oh, just a little bit lower, doesn't have to be all the way. Good. Oh, that's snatch. <laughs> oh, it's definitely our winter homework, mate, isn't it? Can we do lower? Not snatching, though. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> lower. Lower. Oh. Good boy, good boy. Little bit lower. Good boy. You can do a nice halt. Oh, you good boy. Hi, Banks. You good boy. Woohoo! I was just about to turn my camera on and he's showing off the moves. Do not jump the fence. Woo! Well, that, my friends, I was about to say is the end of my first week it's wednesday it is isn't it yeah yeah it's the end of my first week with enzo he is he is currently a little bit peed off that banksy's gone down into the other field although he is probably just playing up for the camera because he has been pretty chilled for the last half an hour or so whilst we sort the stables out look who's here straight from tenerife hello oh sorry you're glowing oh, God, wow wow That's why just... do these phones do that sometimes I don't know that brown why is he? I don't know. Stop. Why is he doing that? 
Why do we? What? It's because it's going to be a Halloween themed vlog, I reckon. Oh, wow. Well, that's oh, that's spooky. better. Oh, now it's stopped. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Um, yeah, straight from Tenerife. Not as brown as last time, mate. Not as brown as last time, no. It was a mm. little bit cloudy. But still relaxed and refreshed. Still relaxed. Revitalised. Still very warm. Yeah, it was lovely. Lovely. Um, but straight to see the ponies. You miss them. <laughs> Away, we're glowing again, we're glowing again. I was literally just going to say, straight here. Yeah. <laughs> she wanted to see Enzo. Enzo Ferrari, I keep calling him. Yeah. Don't we? Hey. He says, let me show you my moves. Oh, I'm so, so proud of him. He was such a good boy last night in all that rain. Come on in. Oh, and then navigating in. that steep. Did you see my reel? Uh, yeah, that and navigating the that steps. Yeah, the bit that's like, wee <laughs> He's churning the field up. What I might do is bring Dinks back in for a bit and then let the boys be together. Whilst I'm here, I don't mind that, but whilst... I'm not here. I like them separate. Do you know what I've noticed? <laughs> Why when is you... it doing this? <laughs> oh, wow. Why is it doing that? Is it the lighting? Oh, that's, oh, that's better. You put Perhaps it we just have to nod. Do this. <laughs> when we what? Um, I've noticed that when you're out here mm -hmm. and you're watching him. That's when he does it. He does it. But when you were in the stable just a minute ago mucking out, he was grazing. happily grazing. So yeah. he's, he's showing off. He knows you already, mate. He he's does. Like, yeah, I tell I tell. Thanks, he's told me. <laughs> yeah. I tell mum that if I play up, she'll give me what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to do that, baby, sadly. <laughs> oh, but no, I am elated. We've had a fabulous first week together. Mm. It's been a shame that you haven't been here oh, to... I know. I've been... I was going to say witness it, but... I've know, been be so lucky, though, because you've been really, like, lovely, like, in sending me pictures and videos, yeah. and it has been lovely, so I do feel like I have. I feel like I've bombarded you a bit, but... No, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> look at him! Look at them! They're so cute together! I know. Oh, you're a good boy. But yeah, that's a wrap. We were meant to be getting visitors today, but sadly the weather has put pay to that. So we were going to have um, Lucy and Meg down for a couple of days. But sadly, there's a lot of flooding on the road, so it's better to be safe than sorry. They aren't coming, but definitely arrange it for another time. But yeah, we were going to be brave and take the ponies to the beach tomorrow, which actually I'm quite glad we're not, to be honest with you, because I don't think... He needs to do that just quite What yet. is this lighting doing? I don't know, it's odd, isn't it? It's because it's a spooky special vlog, Suze. <laughs> Wee. Have you tried wild before yet? I haven't, actually. Ah, oh, um, mate, you're in the scout mode. I've had the, uh, the only thing I've tried from there. I know what you're going to say. The lip. Because Em keeps it in the front of her oh car. Oh my God, I love that. Yeah. I I'm do love that. Literally, just, they the trouble is, the refills last so long that I bought a watermelon one and I haven't yet changed it onto my thing because it's taken ages to run out and I do use it most days. Yeah, you do. Keep it in your bag. Um, but so, yeah, I'm excited to change it and put the watermelon on to try that. I've got coconut and vanilla on at the moment. But if you are yet to try wild code, wild Tina or Tina Wild, I'll insert it on the screen as one or the other, gives you 20% off whether you are a new or an existing customer. There you go. New, so I existing. Yeah. I've been using it for about two years now. I, I first switched in October, the year before last, because I was influenced by an influence. Did you follow her? Nick Nat? No, Nick Nat. The, girl, the lovely young lady that had breast cancer. No. Oh, she had the most insane Instagram account and so much positivity. But yeah, sadly she did. Oh. Passed to breast cancer last year. But yeah, she influenced me the year before. Into, and she did a really good reel. The importance of checking your boobs. Really good reel that made me buy the deodorant two years ago but yeah we must i don't check them regularly anymore. don't you no oh, i do well, every <laughs> miss paranoia every day mate no probably like every probably like every two or three weeks yeah it's meant to be at least once a month isn't yeah. it i think they recommend in the shower all right and, and you you've got to even go into your armpits haven't you yeah because i know a lot because i know a lot of women with my job and stuff um a lot of a few i say a lot of them a few of them have been diagnosed with I like their lymph nodes have been up uh, in there. Okay. Right one in... No, I'm not going to get my stats oh. right here now. I'm sure it's something like one in two women get diagnosed every day. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. 31 people a day. It was on one of M. Clarkson's most recent podcasts, they were talking about it. And like 31 pe women a day die of breast cancer. That's... Oh, anyway. I don't mean to go doomy gloomy, but it is another thing that we need to raise awareness of, just like making sure you go for your smear test too. And I was just thinking, actually... I might actually try wild because I'm a fitness instructor and I reckon that would be quite good as long as I just put it in my kit bag. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Lip balm, body wash, all of it. 
But yeah, the link will be in we the description box. Yeah. Oh my God, mate. We're going inside I, for a drink anyway. The I honey one know. is, smells like honey. It's lush, right? Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, over and out for now. Next video might actually be a full lesson vlog. I don't know if I've explained to the vlog or not that I went for a lesson, but then didn't have anybody to film. But look who's back. Back again. Um, but I do think we focused on positives. I was a little bit upset that I had no footage. But the positives were I got that complete one-on-one -on -one time with John and Enzo to learn and absorb all the information rather than worrying or thinking about what was happening on camera. And bond. So. And bond, exactly. And bond we did and bond we have very much in this first week. So, yeah. Happy new home, boyo. Oh, so what did you say? You want a treat, Enzo? Oh, OK. <laughs> Auntie Susie, yeah, but look, he's chilled. Let's just leave him in peace now. He's actually relaxing. He's resting a leg and chilling. I'll walk over, it's fine. I'll walk over there. <laughs> right, guys, over and out. My arm is aching. We will see you all in the next video. And Susie has promised she will do another vlog very, very soon. What? <laughs> Have I? <laughs> sure you did. Sure I heard that. What? What's the vlog? Comment below if you think she should, guys. Well, we could film the vlogmas one soon. Especially now that Banks is freshly clipped. I'd like to take Dinks out for a little walk. Okay. Like a little... What are you doing Saturday morning? Act. Um, my other my other colleague has booked me for something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, watch this space, guys. See you all very, very soon. Bye! Just keep on you